In this lecture, let's see how to use the map utility function to translate all the items in an array to a new array of items by processing each item against a function. So if you want to do something on all the items in an array, we can use the map utility function. So let's see how to use it. Let me write dollar document dot ready here function and within this I need to write our code and here let me declare a variable where my ARR let me have some numbers in that like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so this is my array next let me declare a new array where new ARR equals I want to use the map utility function like this dollar dot map sorry it is map and within this the first parameter I need to pass the array which we need to process and then the function which should be processed against each item so this function also has item and index of the array that is item will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and index will start from 0 now within this we need to write what we need to do for each item suppose I want to calculate the square of these numbers so what I can do I can write return then math dot p o w this is a mathematical method which we can use to calculate the power of then item which means each item and I want to find the square so it will be 2 now this new ARR will have the square of each number so now let's try to display it let me access the div with id result using its id so dollar hash result dot html within this i need to display the current array and also the new array so current array plus i want to display my arr first okay then i want to display in the next line new array then I want to display new ARR so this should display the values like current array 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and the new array 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 let's see the output let me refresh see we are seeing the output like 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 suppose I want to add this index to this number which we get we can just write plus index so let's see the output now let me refresh see it is 1 5 11 19 29 and 41 why because for the first item square is 1 and the index is 0 so 1 plus 0 1 for the second one the square is 4 and the index is 1 so 4 plus 1 5 like that we are getting different values so like this we can translate all the items in an array to a new array by processing each item against a function now suppose I have some names in my array so let me write where my ARR equals let me add some names in the array I am adding a couple of names okay suppose I want to display all these names in capital letters what I can do let me comment this line of code and write return I want to display it like 1 Abel, 2 Sarah, 3 Aaron, 4 Rose, 5 John like that. So how I can write it? I can specify index plus 1. Index will be 0. So I want to start the numbers from 1. So index plus 1. Then I want to have a colon in between. So a colon. Then I want to display the names in capitals. So I can write item dot to uppercase method which is a string method which we can use so this should actually display the values like 1 then Abel in capitals 2 Sara in capitals like that because we have added 1 to the index as index always starts from 0 now let's see the output let me refresh see we are seeing Abel Sara Aaron Rose and John and then 1 Abel 2 Sara like that suppose I want to display the values in new lines okay so here let me add a new line 
and here I can add dot join using new line. So br. This has nothing to do with the map utility function. I am writing this to display the items in new lines. Okay. So here also let me add a new line and for this also I want to join the items in the array using new line. So br. Okay. Now let us see the output. Save. Refresh. See current array is Abel, Sarah, Aaron, Rose and John and new array is 1 Abel, 2 Sarah, 3 Aaron, 4 Rose, 5 John. So like this you can translate the items in an array using map utility function and the first parameter of this utility function is the array to be processed and the second is the function which should be used to process each item and for this also the first parameter is the item and second is the index. So in this lecture we have seen how to use the map utility function to translate the items in an array to a new array by processing each item against a function.